Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Impress, and I'm here to do a collective energy reading. Please remember to like, click, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can know what's going on. Remember to hit the bell so that you get notified every time I come on. Um, so yeah, I like to get right into it. So let's see here. Give me a message for the collective. My decks are always pre-shuffled, but I always seem to need to shuffle right before I pull. So don't mind me, all right? Maybe it's just a ASMR thing. I don't know, but I need to shuffle every time. All right, Spirit, give me a message for my family. So give me a message for the collector. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles, you working on something. What you working on? Tell me more, Spirit. Either you or your person, uh, spirit, somebody, I mean, spirit, spirit is telling me that somebody is working on an apology or a new beginning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want, somebody wants to come back into your life. Uh, let me just double check. Let me just clarify. Here she comes. Here she comes. This is her night cry. Like, why is the house so quiet? Where is everybody? I'm right here. Me. Come here. Come here. Just come here. Please don't mind my cat, y'all. <laughs> I can't control that now. Okay. Just clarify. Let me just clarify, cause our spirit told me what it is. But let me just clarify. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Any more spirit? Mm hmm. Any more? saying I think you may have left someone in the cold I feel like we're just saying that you ghosted somebody because of their behavior and the reason I say that is because the eight of pentacles is here I feel like someone in your energy take out resonates it could be you or them but I feel like this is your person who is trying to work out um where they went wrong with you Five of Swords. Um, I read cards on reverse too, but this deck in particular I read up right for now. And I think what this particular deck is telling you, this image, you know, what Spirit is saying is that this person, they're trying to work out where they went wrong. They haven't figured it out or maybe, they, maybe that's what they were doing because this is past energy for me. So this is somebody like, just really like, where did I go wrong? And I feel like this person is really not good at taking accountability. So they struggle with that. Maybe if they hadn't struggled with that, you guys would still be in connection at the moment. But I feel like you're not. I feel like right now they're currently. Oh, something happened with my computer. But I feel like. um they currently struggle with bringing an apology but they they know now i feel like they had time to figure it out they had time to really think on it and they're dealing with it in a logical way but it's it's the matter of the heart period like you know sometimes you got to pull yourself back and kind of look at it and analyze like hmm how would i feel if this happen or how would I feel if that happened? Yes, I said I'm here. Why are you yelling at me? What happened? 
Everybody went to bed on you. All right, so. So the Knight of Wands, the hidden energy is that they want to come back in, but they they it's still like a pause to reassess. Come here. All right, come here. Come here. What's wrong? What's the problem? Hmm? You see you trying to give a reading? What's wrong? You need my full attention? You want to read the cards with me? What's wrong? The girls went to bed. You could have went to bed with them. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to go with the flow. So they're looking at things differently. Maybe they're looking at what they did to you differently, the circumstances yeah. of what happened with them. Okay. They're looking at that differently. I feel like they just had a change of heart and they want to come towards you. The challenge position, I have the four wands with the Knight of Cups. The challenge is how to get home, how to have what they want, how to have everything that they envisioned with you right because the nine of cups is wish fulfillment treasure island and four wands is home you know a new beginning celebration and i feel like this person is trying to figure out how to have that because that's the challenge and the lesson the likely outcome is that there has to be a healing between the two there has to be a healing because the lover's card is that they choose you Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So with the Knight of Swords is saying somebody wants to come towards you with their truth. You gotta stop making so much noise. They can hear you. Yeah, calm down so you can stop snotting. Okay. Yes. My cat has a bit of a allergies and cleft palate, so she sounds like that till she calms down. Anyway, um, and she's forcing me to hold her, which is odd. What's wrong? I don't know what happened. What is wrong? Okay. All right. So they want to come towards you. They made a choice that they want to heal this situation. They've been working this out in their head. They've been, um, I feel like they put a lot of effort and a lot of thought into what did they do wrong? What what went wrong? Or how can I fix that? I feel like this person has put a lot of... Mm, I, you know, I feel like they might even be asking people, how do I heal this? Maybe not a lot of people because, you know, I feel like if they're not good at apologizing, then they could be really good at shame. People who are good at shame, and I say good at, and I don't mean that in a good way. I mean that people who... Um, tend to reside in a shameful, victimized state. I don't think they want to reside there much longer, <clears throat> to be honest, because the King of Swords is here. The King of Swords is very detached energy, so they're kind of looking at their emotional state and the things that they thought when maybe they were less mature about the situation. I feel like this person is growing up a little bit, a little bit at a time. I think they're having phases, honestly. When the hangman is here, it's giving me phases. It's giving me, they're seeing bits of reality that they didn't see before. Um, they're looking at how things played out and why you probably detach from it all. Hmm. It's not a bad thing, though. I just think that um, they got to come in more mature. I, I, even even in their approach in order to turn your head and they got to cut out this night of wands energy which is this in and out type of energy that that has to end i don't really think that unless you can i don't really think that this will hmm, i don't see you now, I don't want to say you don't want them. I don't say that because the lover card is here. I feel like you probably both want each other. But it has to heal. <clears throat> Any other lies that they worked on or they tried with you has to stop. If they try magic on you, and when I say magic, I mean manipulation. If they try <clears throat> excuse me, to manipulate you, <clears throat> that's not going to work. <clears throat> so they have to do a new approach. And that new approach may very well be um the apology 
This is the queen of coins. So this person had you on a pedestal. They saw you as a good mom or a good, a good person, feminine energy. Doesn't mean you ha have to be a, a female because energy is fluid. But um, they probably saw you as very generous, giving, nurturing, supportive type of energy. I really feel like they're trying to figure out where they went wrong with you. Or why did they say the things that they said to you? Or why did they do the things or behave? I feel like they just they keep asking themselves why. Tell me more. Yeah, morality. Now, the morality is queen of swords. I feel like the truth of the matter is set in. I feel like the truth of the matter has come to light. I feel like. Maybe they experienced some karma or some type of um, backlash or your absence creates something for them that causes them to think. But they are in their head. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they're in their head. And it's in a morality type of way, right? It's more of a, they might even be resonating with more with integrity now than they have in the past. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm getting at with that. Mm. So the King of Swords is here too. So this is, you know, this is two counterparts that both are detached. Both have experienced a lot. This could be an air sign. Gebra, uh, I don't know why I want to say Gebra. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, right? And... I'm getting more Aquarius vibes from this Queen of Swords and probably more Gemini Libra from this Queen. But I feel like this person's perspective mentally has shifted to more of a... Mm, they want to do things by the book, get it right kind of energy. Tell me more, Spirit. Bless you, bless you. Oh, I need, I know what you need, little girl. I know what you need. Now you want to run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so this explains it. So the conditioning right here, that's that devil energy. Conditioning explains this is the way they grew up. Maybe the way they behave is, is a direct result of the way they grew up. Um, The way they were raised, the people around them, you know, um, this is the way I've always done it. This is the way I've always seen it until you. So now it's got them in their head. This is somebody who thinks their feelings, but they don't feel their feelings. Hence, there's not a lot of cups here, but there's a lot of sword energy, right? Five of swords, king of swords, queen of swords, king of swords. Again, they they think their, their heart space. They think it because it has to make sense. It has to be logical to them, right? But what's not logical is that what they have experienced with you goes against their conditioning, goes against the way they were up uh, raised or their upbringing, you know, the way they were taught. It goes against those cultural norms that they're used to, that they lived. You know, it doesn't reflect the people that they were around. You know, the bickering, the fighting, the the manipulation uh oh <laughs> yeah they definitely want to heal the situation because now we got compromise on temperance in the lovers this is all about balance now now they want reciprocity now they want to bring things back to the way they were i feel like this person with with conditioning here in the nine of cups they may have been lazy and not put in any effort to bring forth this this family situation they could have with you but here with the tempers and the lovers with compromise, now there is a, a wanting, a yearning for balance in this in this relationship. Six of coins, they want an equal give and take. Yep. And bottom of the deck, they've been affected by their past lives. This is family. You know, this is ancestors. This is the way people are raised in the communities that they're a part of. This person is part of a community that really needs to be in their past. They, they need to clear their legacy. They need to change. They need to move with integrity. You know, if the people that were around were in constant conflict and bickering and lying and cheating and 
disrespectful to each other. They they are the change that was birthed through their lineage. And it's up to them to take that role, take that trip. But they want to heal it with you. Temperance with the lover's card. They trying to put them old ways. I don't know if they know how, but I feel like they're working on it. With this uh, Eight of Coins and this King of Swords energy twice. They're in their head about how to fix it. And they know it needs healing. And they know it's going to need time and patience. And they know they're going to have to show love and effort in ways that they didn't show it before. I feel like you mirrored back to them the... You mirrored back to them their nonsense, right? You showed them who they are by you being you, you know? And then also it looks like removing yourself from this situation. You deserve an apology and a page of uh, coins is not enough. I think they know that with the temperance and the compromise here. I bet if you call, well... I'm not suggesting this because I feel like if you pulled back and left this person alone, you did it. That's one, the right thing to do. And two, I don't think you should interrupt that. I don't, I'm not going to suggest that. But if you were, this person will come running back. Now, if you do something like that, though, if you initiate without them putting in the work, then you can have whatever caused the drama before to start all over. It's like resetting the counter. I don't think you want to do that. So if you held back and pulled back your energy, it was for a good reason. And I think that uh, you need to let them do the work because that's where their challenge is. Putting in the work to have what they want with you. To have what you want with each other. To give the compromise you both deserve. To be reciprocal. Tell me more, Spirit. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. This is this confirmation. This, this person is heartbroken. You both might be heartbroken over this separation. And they want to, they don't know how to fix it. Well, at least they didn't. You know, I feel like they're thinking it through. They know they got to do something. This page of cups is like, I know they may not accept it because they might tell me when pigs fly. Literally, a pig flying. But I feel like they know they have to bring healing to the situation. Patience, right? So we got temperance here. We got patience here. This person is probably taking a long time. And I feel like they are really testing your patience. You know, good things come to those that wait. But I'm not suggesting you wait. I'm not saying anything about waiting. I feel like you've been going on with your life, which is good. I think you going on with your life has got this person in their head, to be honest. Um, tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, you inspired this person. They stood back and looked at you and said, wow. They're really all in their head because they can see a future with you. They can see life with you. They can see creativity with you. You know, this is giving Empress vibes. This is somebody that aspires to be, to paint the world the way you see it or the way they see it with you, right? This person can be an artist. This person could be gifted and talented vis with visual art that expresses their emotions probably better than they can say it. Because even though they're very in their head, mercurial, and they might be an air sign and all that stuff, this person does not express their emotions well, but they probably do it better through their art. Tell me more. Please, where's the channeling? Ooh, they want forgiveness. They took you for granted and they know it. This person wants your forgiveness. Ooh. The challenge is to get out their own way and ask for it. The challenge is to get out our own way and do something different to deserve it. That's the other part. <clears throat> uh, uh, an apology without change is what they say. Manipulation, right? So this person can ask for all the forgiveness they want and you may give it to them, but that won't give them access to you anymore. They have to change. There's ways they have to mend, you know, bridges they got to repair with you 
coming with me. Oops. Oh gosh, it's coming out my hand. The answer. Mm. So the the answer is no and bound were trying to come out my hand at the same time. And I feel like this is that they are no longer bound to a previous situation. They're saying no to things that didn't pour into them. Look, look at the no card. This is literally dehydration in the ground. This is like, um, you know, there's no water left, no love left, no nothing, right? And then bound. So the answer is no. No more to this bound situation, this devil situation that kept them stuck. And I know that to be because the overall energy is they want a fresh start. This is the bottom of the deck. So for somebody to be rushing in to tell you the truth, Knight of Swords and, and leaving back, leave, it's, it's like they're not letting their past hold them back. And they really want a fresh start with you. But there's no, that there's no more. That's why I keep hearing is there's no more this bound stuff. They're not bound to that situation. But even though they're not bound, right, what I'm not seeing here is the actual action that would be taken. So maybe spirit didn't want to just reveal that to me right now. For you, that is up to you to interpret with your own intuition. But I feel as though this person is not bound to that old situation. They're saying no to it. And it's like, I feel like it's like um, tactics. You know how somebody, I don't know if you've ever experienced it. But I'll put it to you like this. If you've ever been in a situation in the past or ever seen it where somebody is like in a constant cycle of being manipulated, you know, sometimes you can see this in domestic violence situations um, where the person keeps believing the person that's victimizing them. And then one day, you know, they say on average it takes six to seven times, which, you know, sometimes upward is 11 times. Or sometimes less. But it takes a, a good couple of cycles for someone to fully release themselves from a situation. And when they do, the behavior of the person victimizing or traumatizing them no longer impacts that person the same way. You know, the mind, the Jedi mind tricks that they use to get that person to feel, I don't know, sorry for them or to accept the behavior stops working at some point in time it, you know it you know when a person wisens up and realizes i gotta get out of this situation that person can't talk them into it anymore it just doesn't work and i feel like this is the path that your your person has gone through by being separated from you i feel like they have like they realize who you are i think they also realize that you had a lot of patience for them I'm not sure if this person went through a DV situation. They could have gone through something similar or just mentally. But I feel like they're no longer a part of something that kept them away from you. They, they're they not. It's like a divorce. It's like a, I'm got to clear the air so that I come toward my person. And they want the, the challenge is how do they get forgiveness for whatever they took you through while they were going through what they were going through. But I feel like there's no more. Um, I just keep hearing no more. And I know what this card says. The answer is no. I just keep saying there's no more of this. There's no more. I'm not bound to that no more. I'm not bound to that no more. Like it's not doing. All I hear is no more on repeat. There's no more. I want a fresh start with you. The bottom of the card. Bottom of my deck again. I'm devoted to you. And then look at this, recognition. They keep coming. You know, there's a lot of negative cards in this deck, but this right here is saying, I want a fresh start because I'm devoted to who I recognize that actually loves me. So this person went through a metamorphosis of the mind and the heart. <clears throat> Again, they think their feelings. This person gets in their head. I feel like they ruminate a lot. Uh, when you ruminate a lot, you really have, you know, you just spin the same thing in your mind over and over again. And you probably try to counteract the ways, if I could have done this differently, maybe I should have did this differently. I feel like this person is doing just that. They're trying to 
figure out what they could have done differently. But that that part has got them living in the past. It really is time for them to to let this go. If they're not in this grip anymore, they got to release this grip. That's the only way they could prove to you that this situation could potentially have a, a new start. But if that's not really what's going on and they're not, they're too, too afraid or, um, you know, it's not so much a bound like a love situation, but the physical is like maybe they feel like they got too much to lose to pick up or they just a little scared that you won't take them back. So if they leave, they ain't going to have anything. I don't know what it is, but I feel like whatever it is, they have to prove it to you in order to obtain the forgiveness that they seek. And the fresh start, you know, and maybe they'll just get a fresh, I'm sorry, maybe they just get the forgiveness and not the fresh start. It's up to you, like I said, but I feel like they got something that they need to prove to you to heal this situation. And they know it, they have to give. That compromise requires them to take action. There's no compromise, you know, if there's only one person doing it. If one person is compromising, the other person is not part of that. There's no reciprocity. All right. So, you know, take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it. But I feel like something's coming towards you. Someone is coming towards you with um, asking for forgiveness. And it's going to be up to you to determine if they deserve that from you. Maybe you need to forgive them just for yourself in the meantime, but somebody's going to be asking you for forgiveness, which they want to lead to a new start and use your intuition and your discernment to determine if this is on, take you on another cycle or if they have in fact actually changed. All right. Only you would know what that looks like, but I urge you to really um, take your time. Take your time. No rush. Okay. All right, this is what I have for you, Collective. I appreciate you coming to my live. Please click like, share, and subscribe. And comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're going through. I'll definitely respond. Uh, appreciate you. Peace.